All right, guys, welcome back to the best ass effect you've ever seen. I have like a bunch of what is this shit? Like on my on my HUD here. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? Oh, did I already do this? Your wife is coming home. Thank you. It does not. I already did do that. <laughs> okay. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal One. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel embassies and CSEC headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please Why is it telling me about that? Avena? Is that a mission? No, it's not. Please okay. Enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Uh, by the way, the reason why uh, he was still there was because, remember, on the one of the missions, I redid my entire game. So, I, and I also see here that I didn't actually talk to the reporter yet, even though in the last uh, episode I literally punched her in the face. So, uh, let's see how awkward that gets now. As I, I, it's like I said, I, I didn't mean to skip out on that, but yeah, let's go to markets. We also have to go talk to someone else. Oh shit, it's Conrad again. Hey, Commander Shepard, it's me. You were too busy to talk last time, but that's not a problem. I know you're busy being the first human specter and all. There's a lot going on right now. Is there something I can do for you? This will be fast. I just wanted you to know what a big fan I am, and I was wondering if I could get a picture. Alright, I think if you tell him to fuck off, he won't appear in the next game, so we have to do it. Sure, no problem. Just hold up your gun. Perfect. Thanks again, Commander. I'm gonna hang this in my living room. My wife will love it. Even though I want to tell him to fuck off, trust me, it took every ounce of my strength to not tell him to fuck off, but yeah. So I think the reporter is here. I don't know, if, is it the same reporter? Uh, yeah, she is still here, what the fuck. Word on the street is that you've been... Oh yeah, we, we've I done this already, so I'm skipping the dialogue. Anything going These on. OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've... Here, Commander. I had to kill people for these days. <laughs> They're worth more than you're offering. I love this, man. I didn't tell you to kill Fist. But you're right. I suppose that I did. Right, now, if you'll excuse me. All right, okay, so... We got a bunch of gold and shit from that, so... Uh, gold. Uh, uh, it makes it sound like I'm playing World of Warcraft or some shit. Um, I might be. Someday. Alright. What are we doing for skills? Oh, dude, I finished sniper rifles, too. Alright, someone yelled at me for getting first aid, but it restores 40 health. It's a one It's a one point wonder. So, that's why I got it. Because um, I only need to put one point into it. I would like to get dampening after some time. Um... <clears throat> Stuns basic enemies. Also, more hacking would also be good. Because that's also very useful. And then I also got Commando now. So we could have, like, some super sniper rifle shit, you know? Or Advanced Marksman. Uh, which also might be in, uh, up our agenda. So that's the question. Do I want to go do some dampening? Or... Yeah, let's go, let's go all the way into this. Eventually, I have to also do some immunity stuff, maybe. Actually, you know, that might be just good with one point. Fuck it. We're going into specialization for a commando. And no there's nothing you guys could do to stop me. Except for the fact that... Um, apparently, I get one point for everybody now. I forgot it falls off all your points. So now, every time I come in here, I have to look at what the hell I was doing. Advanced immunity. Maybe we should give him that. He is supposed to be our damage sponge. Or actually, bear actually, he already has advanced barrier. All right, we'll just give him that then. All right, let's see. C Sec Academy. I don't think there's anything. Here. Oh, did I? Did I already look outside? No, it looks like I did. All right, we need to go to Cora's Den uh, for some reason. Oh man, this is gonna take forever. Oh, did we scan this this keeper ass? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So uh, as I said. Uh, because of the fact I redid my game earlier, if you forget that I did that, then obviously you skip somewhere. Because I said it at the beginning of something where my, I lost my hard drive. So I clearly didn't do that part. Let's chill over here. It's a party. Qu quick save. Oh. Uh, this guy? Go away. Let me, let me drink. Not Commander. 
What do you want? What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is the great Turian General. How did your kind ever defeat us? I may be drunk, Krogan, but you're ugly. And tomorrow I'll be sober. Now, unless you have a cure for this ache in my gut, go away. Some general. What kind of example are you to your troops? The troops can kiss my leathery backside. All I wanted was to retire and be with her. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste your time. Never let the enemy see your weakness. You know that, General. Enemies? The one place I always felt at peace was with her. But now, so you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It's better than sitting on your ass all day. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. Now get up and get moving, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or two. Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. And why is that? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. Why can't you tell him yourself? Well, the last time he saw me, I... I was disparaging his ancestors and shouting his secrets in public. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Who am I taking it to, and where is he? His name is Zeltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Sure I will. I got business here, but not with you. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's see what else we have to do. Doctor at risk. Yeah, this is all mostly stuff that isn't to your Citadel to fan. What harm could there be in talking to him? We already did. Uh, we got a lot of the keepers. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just keep it going. It's all pretty good so far. Uh, oh, wait, here's the thing. Fast travel. So we need to go to the embassies. Um, there was a guy really early on uh, that we had to deal with, so... Do I need to talk to the sorry person again? For Because I did her shit, but I don't know. We'll see. Let's go talk to the Elcor, because I love the Elcor. Because I sound like one of them. Maybe I, I'm secretly an Elcor, nobody knows, because it's, it's internet. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Actually, we have proof. Look at this. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, Dismayed. Anyone can discover my secret. Just make sure you leave Shaira out of it from now on. Agreed, most assuredly. It is clear that the consort was blameless. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human. If you will excuse me, I must go now. So long. Farewell, you... Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then, not all humans are as you say. I'm sure your clan stands to profit from this in some way. 
Yeah, go fuck yourself, asshole. Well, the new Earth Clan Spectre. Obviously, you are already lost. Your ambassador is next door. Chastising remark. Don't be so rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Bolus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Please greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through scent and slight movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly, within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. What do you do here? Modestly, I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere farewell. Good day to you. Alright, we got another one. Getting a shit ton of money for this stuff. Oh, hey, dude, it's Anderson and. Uh, bullshit. Your Onoveria report raised a few eyebrows in the Council, Shepard. I can't believe you let that queen live. There's a reason their species was nearly wiped out. You should have finished them off. You weren't there, Ambassador. It was my call. I did the right thing. Really? I'm glad you're an expert in a species we know virtually nothing about. I hope we're both still around in 50 years to see if you're right. Genocide of an entire species is a terrible tragedy, Ambassador. Shepard did the right thing. Fine. I'll just tell everyone we figured it was a good idea to release a fertile Rachni queen in the wilds of Novaria. I'm sure nobody will have a problem with that. Yes, Commander? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing, but you're the one who can stop, Saren. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago now. 
Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Udina, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Oh, we've already done all this. Fuck it. The only thing I care about is stopping Saren. You're right, Commander. It's no good living in the past. Uh... Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. But some of the infrastructure is still intact. The colony tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. I should go. I'll be here if you need anything. Alright. I guess we're gonna... I don't think I have much else to do here now. I guess we should talk to the Asari, though. Ah, uh, yeah, there's a lot of things here. Let's, let's see if she gives me some fucking reward or something, I don't know. Hey, do you think we'll uh, catch up to the, um... Uh, oh, I don't want to bring up my gun. Do uh, you think we'll ca catch up to the Elkor? He'll be walking here? No? Okay, they didn't do animations for that, clearly. Uh, shit, I want to get over to that side. What the fuck, guys? Why are you teleporting in front of me? You're not supposed to use that wizard green in front of me. Can they run too, or no? Oh, they can't run! That's why that they're teleporting around. They're like, shit, they must have gotten lost. Uh, this did not occur to me, that they can't actually... Oh, wait, you see? See, they, they walk at normal speeds while I have the fucking sprinting. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, this is the store. I don't want to really go to the store. Is it over here? It's somewhere over here. That's where the Asari Consort was. Septimus has sent word. Apparently, he sought the Consort's forgiveness. As it was a long time ago, though. I barely remember. What are you about to receive? Alright. Can we just go up there and talk to her? I don't know exactly. Apparently, we can. Hey, what's up? Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. I can't spend gratitude. I would not dream of letting you go without payment. I do not make a habit of incurring debts. These credits will cover your expenses. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What are you offering me? I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see your skin, tough as the scales on any Turian, unyielding. A wall between you and everyone else, but it protects you makes you strong. You never hide your strength, either. It serves you well, terrifies your foes. Few will dare to stand against you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Uh, thanks, I guess. Close your eyes and relax, Commander. Is there are Rex just like right behind me watching this shit? I like to think that they are. Especially Rex. Shepard. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. So it's an sorry prostitute on the Citadel, alright. I mean, I, I, was, I was kind of wondering what they were referring to by consort, but, you know. It's uh, a little bit more clear now. What the hell is that? Is that a Krogan? Is that a Krogan statue? How have I never noticed this? This is uh, this is totally a Krogan statue. Yeah, what, what do you think about it? <laughs> like how we're like, just all have our guns out at the ready. 
You never know. All right, let's go to. Uh, I think I think we're done on the citadel. I I know there's a couple more things to do, but we'll be back like some other time. Uh, no, we want to go down to the ship. Let's go. Where the hell is it? I guess we go to CSEC? Yeah. Actually, we could, we could take a look around CSEC and make sure we got everything done. Because there's always some asshole who's like, Oh, I got myself into trouble. I also have great memories of this place. Hello, Commander. Remember this guy? Yeah, he was our best friend. Actually, I don't think there really is anything more we can do here. This guy wearing like headphones? Dude, he told the oh wait, he's a microphone. Uh, it's lame. All right, we're out. Rex, coming up in a report later today, Emily Wong investigates corruption on the Citadel and uncovers a full-blown crime syndicate. Oh boy. That's it? Alright, let's fucking speed it up then. Alright, back to the ship then, I guess. Joker, take us out of here. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination. <laughs> That's also sped up too. That's good. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. Commander. Something you need? I have to go. Alright, see ya. Oh, wait. Ah. Got more shit there. Alright, is there anything else we can really go into now? Actually, I'm only like halfway through Renegade. How the hell? Okay, my character has disappeared. Alright, well. Uh, guess we'll uh, have a look at the galaxy map then. Message coming in. Patching it through. Commander, Miss Algelani's story on you just aired. The brass isn't happy with the way you treated her. This comes straight from the Joint Military Command. I don't have the patience to deal with tabloid gadflies who think they're great journalists. <laughs> Commander, if she had done that at a bar, she'd go home in an ambulance. But they want me to make this clear. We can't mistreat the press. Just wanted to let you know what the response was back home. I won't keep you any longer. Fifth Fleet out. <laughs> oh, shit, son. Alright. Where do we want to go today? Or, uh, something. Well, there's the asteroid. It's Pinnacle Station. This fucking place. Pharaohs. Okay, I don't think we want to do Vermeer quite yet. Maybe we'll do some of these other missions. Like, let's, let's see what the asteroid's all about. Asteroid sounds kind of fun. Alright, do you guys really want to see, like, the ship animation every single time? I mean, it is kind of cool, let's be honest. Alright, fine. Well, we'll watch it. I'm always unsure what to fast forward, because you guys are... I mean, it's not that long. I had the power to save five seconds of your life. I can't fast forward this, by the way. Message for you, Commander. Just came in over a secure channel. Shepard, this is Admiral Kahoku. I found out who set that trap for my men. The ones killed by the Thresham War. Damn, I hope you get this message. It was a group called Serpers. An Alliance Black Ops organization. Top secret, highest level security clearance. They vanished a few months ago. Dropped right off the grid. Nobody knew where they went or what they were up to. They've gone completely rogue, Shepard. They're conducting illegal genetic experiments trying to create some kind of super soldier. I don't have any proof, but I found the coordinates for one of their research worlds. I'm uploading them with this message. They're completely out of control. Somebody needs to stop them. I've done my part. Now it's up to you. This is... This is probably the last you'll hear from me. Cerberus is after me now. I need to disappear before they find me. <laughs> okay. Cerberus? We'll never hear of them again. Alright, let's check out this, actually, because I've... I'm actually not familiar, familiar with some of this stuff, actually. I won't lie. We are going to get into some parts of the game where I'm just- I've never done them. Because I don't think I've ever like 100%ed this game. And I've definitely never touched a DLC. Sensors reveal three fusion torches propelling asteroid 
X-57. At its current rate of acceleration, the asteroid will collide with Terra Nova in approximately four hours. Analysis. Torches must be disabled to cease the acceleration. Hello. I heard your transmission. Can you hear me? They haven't found me yet, but I can't talk long. Shut down the fusion torches. I'm going to die. God, I hope you're hearing this. Is this DLC? It seems very DLC-like. Alright, there's some shit over there that we need to go to. Why is my Mako completely black? Not that there's anything wrong with the black Mako, it just seems a bit odd. I feel like I should reload this. Seriously, what's wrong with it? Body of G. Mendel. The victim was badly beaten before being killed with a pistol shot to the back of the head at close range. Likely he surrendered only to be executed by his sadistic captors. Oh no. Aid station. A log. I feel like I should reload this. Omni tool. Oh shit, son. When did we get all this? Alright. Uh, who else uses tech? He doesn't use tech. Alright, well that's pretty much it for this team. I probably should reload it. We have an entire four hours, so... Yeah, you know what guys, we'll leave it off here. Peace out, and uh, stuff like that. Bye.